Not wasting your time with intros for this video, use the timestamps in the description. If you need images and don't want to worry about copyright or royalties, you can use Unsplash or Pexels. Both have high quality and professional images and both are royalty free. I'm not going to drag this out, it's literally as simple as it sounds. For icons, you have two good options. If you need a general place to find icons, go to SVG Repo and you'll find literally any icon you can think of. Alternatively, you can use the library that has icons already, such as Lucid for React. In terms of speed of development, a library will always be faster, but if you want full control, go for SVG Repo. As an additional heads up, if you're downloading an SVG, also run it through SVG OMG to clean up bloat metadata. If you need background graphics, what's worked best for me is Hikey. It's a free website that lets you create background SVGs for your website. Alternatively, you can use SVG backgrounds for a decent second option. Before you pour your images in, run it through Squoosh, a free app by Google to convert whatever format it is into AVIF, WebP, or a resized JPG format so you don't kill your website speed. Also, realistically, if you download an 8K image, you won't need to load the full 8K resolution, so it's always smart to downscale your image. By the way, if you're finding this useful, just let me know in the comments. Now you know where to go and find images, here's how to actually implement them in your website properly. As I say in every video, the best way is just to copy someone else. There's a link in the description to a massive portfolio list, find a few good websites that you specifically like, copy sections from them, and remake them. Backgrounds, images, and icons included. Once your image is on your site, optimize it with lazy loading or your framework's dedicated image handler if it has one. For example, next image. For your favicon icon, use real favicon generator to make the process easy. They'll even walk you through the setup. For further SEO, make sure you use alt tags for all images and area hidden true for purely decorative images. Though the majority of your optimization depends on website speed. So if you only do one thing, this is the one to focus on. If you're still watching, just leave a comment letting me know you appreciate this.